The Ice Age was a world carved by cold and survival, and emerging from its shadows was one of its greatest predators, the dire wolf. Its story begins with footprints, broad, heavy impressions marking the path of a wolf built for power. The dire wolf was not today's wolf. Its frame was thicker, its jaws stronger, and its presence far more commanding. It evolved in a world of giants where every predator had to match the size of its prey. From the beginning, dire wolves relied on numbers, forming tight-knit packs that moved with purpose. Their sense of smell could pierce the icy wind, tracking scents miles across the frozen terrain. In the endless twilight of winter, their keen eyes spotted movement long before prey realized they were hunted. Long legs and wide paws gave them the advantage, allowing them to run across deep snow with ease. Survival meant seizing opportunity, and in the brutal cold, even a single carcass could feed an entire pack. With each generation, the dire wolf became stronger, faster, and more perfectly shaped for an unforgiving world. It thrived where few others could, its thick coat and powerful build defying the harshest winds. Patience was its weapon, waiting motionless until the perfect moment to strike. The Ice Age landscape was always shifting, and dire wolves followed the great herds across hundreds of miles. They weren't sprinters, they were endurance hunters, able to run prey down over vast distances. As food grew abundant, their packs expanded forming powerful social groups unmatched by other predators. Each wolf supported the others, a coordinated force stronger than any solitary hunter. On the coldest nights, they survived by staying close, warmth shared between pack mates. With rising numbers, the pack expanded its territory, claiming forests, plains, and icy valleys. In storms that silenced the world, they remained unfazed, still hunting, still moving. Slowly, the dire wolf became the dominant hunter of the Ice Age, the shadow that followed every herd. Beneath its fur lay dense muscle and reinforced bone, an engine designed for power and relentless stamina. Its skull was broader and heavier than a modern wolf's, built to crush bone and feast on the toughest kills. Where patterns on their teeth reveal a brutal truth, they often cracked bones to reach the rich marrow within. Heavier and bulkier than gray wolves, Many dire wolves weighed as much as a large man. Their wide paws acted like snowshoes, keeping them steady while chasing prey across frozen ground. A dense undercoat guarded against frigid winds, allowing them to thrive in temperatures that froze others. Their hearing pierced through blizzards, detecting prey even beneath the howl of winter winds. They could read the slightest imprint in snow, learning the age, direction, and weakness of their prey. A reinforced spine gave the dire wolf the strength to wrestle down prey many times its size. Its long legs were built for pursuit, capable of steady speed over miles of unforgiving terrain. Their noses could detect buried carrion beneath layers of ice. No meal was ever fully hidden. Even the smallest twitch of muscle in distant prey was enough to trigger an immediate response. With padded paws and practiced precision, dire wolves approached without sound or warning. They communicated through posture and movement coordinating attacks with stunning efficiency. Within a pack, each heartbeat echoed through the others, 
Unity was their greatest strength. They traveled with shared purpose, moving as one entity across vast stretches of the Ice Age world. Their howls carried across valleys, calling the pack together and warning rivals to keep their distance. It was more than a wolf. It was a formidable Ice Age specialist, adapted through millennia of cold. Every part of its body, every sense and every instinct was honed for survival in a frozen world. And on the shifting winds of the Ice Age, it sensed opportunity, another hunt waiting to begin. A faint scent drifting on the cold air signaled a chance. The herd was close and the pack moved. They tracked the herd quietly, studying its movement, searching for the weakest among them. The wolves spotted a limping calf, injured, isolated, and unable to keep pace. They moved as one, descending the slope with controlled precision toward their chosen prey. With probing charges, they tested the herd's defenses, forcing it to break formation. The herd exploded into motion, chaos the wolves knew how to exploit. In the confusion, the calf was pushed away from the herd, isolated and vulnerable. They pursued it over a frozen river, their paws gripping the shifting, cracking ice. The calf slipped repeatedly, its strength fading as the pack tightened its circle. They closed in deliberately, cautious but confident. The outcome was all but certain. A final powerful bite ended the struggle, and the hunt was complete. The pack gathered around the kill, each member sharing in the hard-won victory. Warm meat filled their stomachs, a rare feast in the brutal Ice Age winter. While the pack fed, one wolf stood guard. Danger was never far in this frozen world. Soon, ravens gathered overhead, waiting for their share of the remains. In the Ice Age, no meal ever went to waste. Every creature relied on another's success. Once fed, the pack moved on, disappearing into the frozen wilderness in search of their next hunt. In the Ice Age, survival was a cycle, and for the dire wolf, each day brought another test. The first sign of trouble was subtle, a slow warming that softened the once frozen plains. As temperatures rose, prey herds shrank, Food became harder to find with each passing year. New competitors moved in, smaller wolves, faster breeders, better suited for changing conditions. Forests reclaimed open plains, turning the dire wolf's hunting grounds into dense, unfamiliar terrain. Their long legs and pursuit-based hunting style no longer worked among tightening forests. Where humans settled, dire wolves retreated. Their world was shrinking rapidly. Hunger became constant. With dwindling prey, even scavenging could no longer sustain them. As resources vanished, packs split apart, weakening the cooperative hunting they depended on. Sudden cold snaps returned harsh enough to kill weakened animals already struggling to survive. Gray wolves, more adaptable and numerous, slowly pushed dire wolves out of shared territory. The last surviving packs clung to life in isolated pockets of the fading Ice Age. One by one, their voices faded from the icy wilderness they had once dominated. No single event ended them. Instead, the dire wolf slipped quietly into extinction. Only bones remained, locked in ancient soil, waiting for scientists to uncover their story. The fossils reveal a powerful hunter, larger than any wolf alive today. The dire wolf now stands as a symbol of Ice Age giants lost to a changing planet. 
but their legacy survives in modern wolves, descendants shaped by the world the giants left behind. With the Ice Age's end, so too ended the reign of the dire wolf, a titan built for a vanished world.